Here we are with Dr. Ulrich after a big, big uh, problem for Toyota. So now Audi is in the lead after a strong, strong race. Uh, yes, we are in the lead now. The Toyota was strong all the time. There is no question on that, and I have no idea what happened to them. Uh, yeah. It's 9 hours and 30 minutes to go. That's all I can say. We hope that we can continue the pace and that we don't run into troubles. And uh, that's what we have to work for, concentration and uh, staying away from problems. And regarding the number one, so it seems that this car has some problems. So what happened? Because we see uh, sometimes uh, Lucas Di Grassi uh, in the pits very often, I would say. No, I think uh, what we have seen before is that uh, the car, and there was Tom still on the, on, on the steering wheel, uh, he lost engine power and uh, he tried to do an electric circle and all that stuff, but it didn't help. And then he slowly came back to the pits and then during that we could see on the data that one of the engine injectors had failed. So they changed the injector, put him out again. Yeah, I hope it's done now. Uh, what do you think about Mark Jenner's performance? Are you satisfied? Oh, he did really good performance. I mean, uh, we knew that he is a guy that is very, very strong, but it was not easy for him just to come not testing here before on this racetrack. He was with us testing in Aragon one month ago, but on this racetrack he has not been in the car before. Uh, so I think he really did a great job. And Loic, he will be again in the, in the car for Austin. Yeah, Loic, I'm quite sure that he will be there. Uh, I think... Uh, yeah, it's hard for him to watch TV and not being a part of us. Thank you very much.